All right, lads, so in Bleach Brave Souls, one of the main factors when it comes to what determines a powerful character in this game is how hard a certain character can hit on their strong attacks and or sobum attacks. And in the last two or so years, we have been getting an insane set of powerful characters that just do a ridiculous amount of damage. And in today's video, I thought it would be a fun idea to rank the top 10 hardest hitting characters in the game, Bleach Brave Souls. Now, the list might surprise you, but it is backed up by data. A massive shout out and credit. I can't emphasize enough to Riddler over on Reddit for actually making this entire ranking system where we are going to be turning it into a top 10 video today. He found all the data and I'm just presenting it onto the YouTube platform. If you want to see the full list, it will be in the pinned comment below. Definitely recommend you check it out. It will be a link to his Reddit post where you can see every single character, which spans across 549 characters. Now, before we do begin the top 10 list, it's very important you understand what the numbers you are going to be seeing on your screen. So let's quickly read out an explanation that Riddler has given us. The DPS factors are just a metric which represents the unit's overall DPS in a normal PvE scenario relative to other units. Imagine for a moment that Caleb make the most boring unit possible. This unit has the most average stats possible, has no soul trait, no skills, no innate skills, all of its attacks are melee collision with 100% magnification. This unit would then receive a DPS factor of 1. Then every other unit in the game is ranked against this unit. For example, take Anniversary Eisen, who has a DPS factor of 7.89. This then says that Anniversary Eisen will have around a 7.89 times as much DPS as this imaginary unit. This is a way for us to compare other units in a simple metric, and this is how the top 10 is going to be listed off. So that said, let's jump into it, starting off with the number 10 spot. So the Christmas version of Noel is coming in at 10th place with a DPS factor of 7.576. This version of Noel is able to do this amount of damage mainly due to the fact that she does come with the spiritual pressure boost plus 80%, where if she does inflict a stat element, she is getting an 80% stat boost to a spiritual pressure stat. In combination with a 40% Berserker, weakening on every single attack, and most importantly, Bombardment plus one, which turns a four hit soul bomb into a eight hit soul bomb, allows her to claim the number 10 spot. And again, she does have a 7.576. DPS factor. Most of her damage does come from a soul bomb, but she doesn't stray away from a strong attack damage as she can also hit very, very hard. This one might come as a surprise, the number 9 spot is going to the Fierce Battle version of Renji, as he does have a 7.82 DPS factor. Now, the reason why Renji is this high is due to the amount of skills that he does have that just increase the amount of strong attack damage and also soul bomb damage he can do. For example, he has a 40% Devastation, a 40% Berserker with an additional 20% strong attack to Technic Attribute Sorry Buzz. His soul trait is damage inflicted at full stamina plus 30%, which is absolutely massive and increases the damage that he does on his strong attacks and also soul bomb. He also does have the Bankai mechanic, which when you do press that, transforms him into his Bankai, which overall increases the magnification on all of the attacks by an additional base value of 30%. So of all these extra ways to increase his strong attack damage, normal attack damage, and also soul bomb damage, allows him to get a 7.82 DPS factor, which in my opinion is really, really impressive. The Untold Stories version of Kiyosuke is taking the 8th place spot with a DPS factor of 7.875. Now, Kiyosuke is this high because once more, he also comes with the stat element boost at plus 80%, where if you do inflict the stat element, his SP stat is getting increased by an additional 80%. That's very, very big for being able to do a lot of damage. With that, the additional 40% Devastation, 40% Berserker, and a very powerful SA2, which is the distant AoE into a tracking vortex, not only allows him to hit very, very hard, it also allows him to do constant damage for essentially the entire duration of a particular quest. So Kisuke taking the 8th place spot mainly due to his spiritual pressure boost and strong attack hit with a 7.875 DPS factor. <laughs> The 
the sixth anniversary guys then transcending everything is taking the seventh place spot with a dps factor of 7.89 now Aizen is here due to the fact that he does have again a very set of powerful strong attacks namely his sa2 which is the distant aoe into a tracking vortex but Aizen comes with a lot of added benefits of having weakening on every single attack a 40 percent devastation skill frenzy plus two which increases the amount of hits he does on every single strong attack and also an additional 20 percent more damage when at full stamina so with weakening two ways to increase his damage output and a very set of powerful strong attacks aizen takes the number seven spot with a 7.89 dps factor Yo, Pushing the DPS factor to a 8.26, we have Lisa, the Visored version. Now, this version of Lisa is this high due to the fact that she also comes with the spiritual pressure plus 80% skill, where if she doesn't fit the stars in, she's getting a massive increase into her spiritual pressure stat. 80% stat increase. In addition to that, she also does have Frenzy plus one, which increases the amount of hits on her strong attacks, a 40% berserker with an additional 20% strong attack damage to every mind character, and that does include herself. And then rounding up this character's damage output, but she also does 40% more damage to lacerated enemies, which she can easily apply herself. So this character is the number 6 spot over 8.26 DPS factor, because of the amount of skills that she has that increases the damage output. Frenzy plus 1, spiritual pressure boost plus 80%, 40% berserker, with the additional 20% strong attack damage to your entire team, and also 40% more damage to lacerated enemies. Ah, <laughs> it's <laughs> The Untold Stories version of Retsu is coming in at number 5 with a DPS value of 8.54. Now, the reason why she is here is because, again, once more, just like many other characters in the past, have a lot of ways to increase the amount of strong attack damage and also soul on damage that she can do. For starters, Retsu does come with Frenzy Plus 2, which adds two more hits to every single strong attack that she does have. She has a 20% Berserker and also, when at full stamina, an additional 20% more damage, which again applies to a null attack damage, strong attack damage, and also soul bomb damage. Every attack that she does have can apply weakening, and her SA3 does have a charge strong attack free. A normal strong attack free will have around 120% magnification, while in Retu's case, when fully charged, is 240%. So essentially, she's doing double damage with that SA3, at least when it's fully charged. And then lastly, rounding up this character's DPS, we also have the weakened defense skill, which when she does use a soul bomb, not only is she applying the weakening, she's also applying weakened defense, which is allowing her to do 30% more damage on every single attack and that overall allows right to have a dps value of 8.54 and that's why she is the number five spot <laughs> The 7th anniversary version of Uryu is taking the number 4 spot with a DPS value of 8.61. Now, Uryu is here because, again, once more has many ways to increase his damage output. For starters, he has a Frenzy Plus 2 skill, a 20% Berserker, and also an additional 20% strong attack damage to your entire team, which once more does apply to himself. He has weakening on every single attack, and he also does have the debuff effect on his Soul Bomb, which upon activating lowers their defense by 80%. With a good set of strong attacks and also most importantly the gauge mechanic which when you do fully complete it you get an additional 100% strong attack damage so this Oryu naturally having frenzy plus two an additional 40% berserker the debuff effect weakening on every single attack and also the gauge mechanic where you fully charge it up you get an additional 100% berserker that's absolutely crazy and that's why he has a damage output of 8.61 you go the Untold Stories version of Yoroichi is in the number 3 spot with a DPS value of 9.56. Massive increase compared to the last characters, let's explain why. So once more, like many other characters, she does have the status element spiritual pressure boost plus 80%. Increase the amount of spiritual pressure she can have while in combat. Frenzy plus 1, 40% berserker, and also 40% devastation. With the additional 20% damage when at full stamina, weakening on every single attack, and also a good set of strong attacks with all melee collision, so there's no inconsistency. Every attack that she does do is going to be dishing out a lot of damage, and she can do that very, very consistently. So Yoruichi, third spot, with a DPS value of 9.56. <laughs> Don't 
全部使って俺が守る The seventh anniversary of Ichigo has taken the number two spot with a massive damage output with a DPS value of 10.71. Absolutely crazy, and this is the reason why. For starters, every single attack that he does have can apply weakening and also paralysis, but the weakening is the main factor, which is increasing his damage output by 50%. He also does have a 40% Berserker with the Frenzy plus one skill, Bombardment plus one, and also the Spiritual Pressure Boost plus 80%. So one of the main reasons why this character did make it to the number two spot is not only because of his soul bond damage which does hit very very hard he also can hit very hard on his strong attacks as he does have a distant aoe into a tracking vortex so just like six anniversary eisen just like he's gay that will be doing a lot of damage and a lot of consistent damage throughout the entire quest and despite having a somewhat inconsistent sa1 ichigo is still able to make the number two spot with a dps value of 10.71 and as always, before we do show the number one spot, here are some audible mentions that didn't quite make the top 10 list. あまり危ないことはしないでくださいねそれじゃなめられては困るな波動の救助黒ひつき万回残下の立ち刃と好みにまとう熱お主を消し飛ばすまで静まりはせぬAnd your number one hardest hitting character in Bleach Brave Souls, to no surprise, is the Thousand Year Blood War Fire version of Yamamoto. With a DPS value of 15.34, there is no character in this list that can compete with the amount of damage that Yamamoto can do. It's absolutely broken, and let's explain why. So not only does Yamamoto have Frenzy plus one with the Spiritual Pressure 80% boost, where if you do inflict a stat as a minute, you get that 80% stat boost to your Spiritual Pressure stat. That's already crazy to begin with, as that does increase the amount of damage that his strong attacks and Solomon can do. He also does have a 40% Berserker with Bombardment plus one, 40% more damage to burned and weakened enemies, which he can inflict on every single attack. So essentially, when you do your sword bomb or when you do inflict the stars on someone, you're doing 80% more damage. And then lastly, rounding up this character, he has weakened defense, which is absolutely cracked. And that's why this character can hit super hard. Majority of his damage sure is coming from the sword bomb as again, it's just completely broken. But even his strong attacks can also hit very, very hard as he has a perfect set of strong attacks, a 3000 length being very consistent strong attacks too. His SA2, just like Aizen, just like Kisuke and Ichigo, Go is a distant AoE into a tracking vortex that is very easily able to inflict statusments and just allow him to hit super, super hard. So a 15.3 DPS value, this character is absolutely broken. And that's why me and many others think he is the best character in the entire game. So with that said, lads, that was the video for today. Hope you guys did enjoy it. And again, massive shout out and credit to Riddler over on Reddit for compiling this list. Again, it will be in the pinned comment below. Definitely recommend you guys check out that Reddit post and you can look at any character in the game and see where they do rank to these top 10 characters. All the data was supplied by him. So he takes full credit. Again, I'm just presenting it to the YouTube platform. But with that said, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.